number two demo. Yay! Let's go right. Let's look at the uh, lab exercise. This is a wonderful lab that was written and designed and done and thought it was really wonderful by uh, Mr. McLean. And uh, the unfortunate thing on this is that it is 14 pages long. Now, the reason it's 14 pages long is because it gives you step by step of what he did to use our graphics libraries. So it's kind of simple. To, okay, it's like following a cookbook, but it's a really long recipe. All right, but it'll actually give you a, a skill of how to go about adding the graphics or using the graphics library, which is not really discussed extensively in this book. Uh, how to use the library? It's assumed that you already know how to use C. So we thought we'd add it in for you. Hit it. You might want to stand over here so they can right. see you. I could be the lovely hands that push the buttons. <coughs> <Let's see. laughs> okay. Uh, I guess we'll turn the dock cam on. Oh, yeah, that would be nice. That one. All right. So in this lab, again, you're uh, working with how to load custom things on the LCD screen here. And what the purpose of this lab is, is we're sort of paying homage homage to a uh, 1972 show called Emergency. I don't know if anybody's Ooh. familiar with it. Well, familiar is not, not very important. What happened? Uh, uh, he paid no attention to the man behind the curtain. <laughs> so the idea is, is we're going to start looking at how to build a game, in a sense, on an embedded device. And in the process of building a game, of course, what do you need when you build a game? Any graphics, all right? What else do you need? Button control. Buttons, controllers, joysticks, whatever. So we're going to take some of the skills you learned in lab one, which is pretty much how to push the buttons, how to light up some LEDs, and sort of take those skills and apply it to how to let display something on the LCD screen, and then how can I control what's on the LCD screen using the inputs that you uh, learned in the last lab. So pretty much. Uh, Every game needs an introductory introdu introductory screen, and here we have the difference. Is that you? No, that's uh, actually Sarah Brightman. Oh, the, the, uh, one of the nurses, I believe, right? No. Uh, huh? Music. Oh, music? Oh, it yeah, shows you how much I know about modern music. You know, that kind of looks like Michael Jackson. From that's kind of like that. <laughs> <laughs> So the idea is, is you'll display an introductory screen, push a button, you'll go to a credit screen, so you'll put your name on it. And if you feel so inclined, you can figure out how to load a custom character onto the screen display as well. Uh, and then every game should start out sort of in a pause state. And when you push button number three, there you go. So, and you can move a little car up and down and change the uh, speed at which the game runs at using the tensioner. Now notice this, this is not a complete game. So maybe there'll be an option later on to actually add stuff that's flying at you and whatnot. And so maybe later on there will be a car coming at you and you will have to move down to get out of the way of the car and move up <laughs> to get out of the way of the car that's in the bottom half of the screen. <laughs> but you gotta start somewhere, so. Or it could be like most of the people I know when they drive on the center line. Anyhow, <laughs> even though it is an emergency vehicle and they're allowed to do anything they want. So that's that's how it runs. The uh, as we mentioned, the 14-page uh, uh, instruction set um, is uh, is kind of nice. It uh, it's, uh, it's there's some code in it, uh, some instructions on what to do. Uh, a couple of pre-lab questions, a nice picture. Look at that. That's pretty circa 1972. That's 40 years ago. Yeah, almost 40 years ago. Um, and then uh, just the instructions on what to do, uh, a lot of how to use the compiler, some explanation of how the graphics uh, uh, card is used or the graphics uh, buffers. So you can feel free to... Uh, Print out a copy of this and follow along, or you can just look at the screen as you follow along. But I would recommend that each of you 
know how this works because this will help you in later labs, each of you again in the lab pair. Now, quick question, how many of you do not have a lab partner? How many of you want a lab partner? All right. See that guy raising his hand in the back? Great. You two, you two meet. <laughs> I think you know, you know where he is. You know where he is. All right. You need to see if... All right. There you go. And you didn't want a partner? Uh, I've got 30 in this class. How's it working out that I only had three? I'm supposed to have an even number of, uh, of lab groups, right? So that means you're a loner. Are you also a loner? Yeah. Oh, I didn't see you raise your hand. All right, there you go. One, two, three. You all work out amongst yourselves who wants to do what. Uh, one of you is going to be uh, a, a loner, unless you want to partner up with somebody else. Um, yeah. That's a smart guy behind you. He's pretty good. I don't know, are you? I did. Okay, good. <laughs> So, um, I recommend you think about that, all right? Uh, any other, any questions before we uh, close this off? When is it due? It's due Monday the 26th. Um, yep, Monday the 26th, all right?